Win at home on Afternoon Express, where three design contestants are turning three empty properties at Valdivia Estate in the Cape Winelands into dream homes using finishes provided by Caesarstone and Plascon. Vote for your favourite and you could win. Yes, that is right. It's time for Win at Home on Afternoon Express. And did you know that you can increase your chances of winning that grand prize apartment if you buy any Plascon product and SMS the keyword Plascon, the last six digits of that barcode, and your full name to 32979? This puts you in line to win a golden ticket, which allows you to be one of the finalists in the grand prize competition. T's and C's do apply. Today, we once again uh, on the couch for our weekly private property chat, where we take a look at a breathtaking home and its surroundings. But before we get into that, our Winner Home contestants recently met up with their mentors to discuss plans for their kitchens. Let's see what they have up their sleeves. Team Old Decorations Minentla and Bal Bellingham have big plans for their kitchen. Looking at the trends, the kitchen space is becoming a place where people want to show off their talents and they want to have fun and show off um, their cooking skills with whoever interacting with in the dining area or the lounge area. Uh, picking up from the concepts I had in the other rooms, the industrial steel, um, having exposed storage, which is also going to act as a decorative element just to bring life into the kitchen and maybe slot in some plants in there. I've also taken in into account the ergonomic triangle, which sort of uh, limits the steps one, one takes in, in the kitchen. So everything is close to you, uh, from the cleansing to the cooking area up to the fridge. So what I'm doing with the flooring is I'm using it as an element to define my spaces. So I'm using different um, flooring in the kitchen area compared to the rest of the open plan space. Mm -hmm. So I saw an opportunity of creating a feature where the two meet. So I created this nice um, pattern, transition pattern. So it's definitely something to look forward to. I love the veneer you've chosen. I love the palette. And I think in terms of a resale and an investment point of view, it's, I wouldn't say safe. Um, I think there's kind of nuanced brilliance in it, but it's not, it's not going to offend anyone. So I think that's great. Maybe what you can do is bring in a bit of color. Um, again, to express the personality, think about the people that are in this kitchen. I think the best thing about kitchens is now you don't have to take them so seriously. So you've got your, you've got your structure, um, your, your exquisite skeleton. So now you can kind of play a bit. Think about the lady, maybe in terms of your, your exposed storage, what are you going to put there? So I think you're on your way. I think if anything, um, just stay in close contact with one design. Um, make sure that they understand your vision, your exposed storage, what are you going to put there? Even though Rudolph's mentor, real estate's Michelle Snadden, is currently in London, the two are still meeting up thanks to the Wi-Fi at Val de Vie. Rudolph has concerns regarding not having a formal dining area, but Michelle is not worried. She says the central island plays an important role as it pulls out from the main kitchen area and with the beautifully contemporary bar stools, she feels Rudolph is creating a real designer kitchen slash dining room area in the open living space. Thanks for all the advice, Michelle. I really appreciate that. Enjoy London. Meanwhile, Joanne and Sumin Brink of Team Vizi are relishing a little shopping inspiration. Wow, that was fun. <laughs> I know. I love shopping. So all our other spaces are very neutral and relaxed and minimalist, but for our kitchen and our living spaces, where all the energy is, we're going for a more dramatic effect. I am so happy that you're going for dark. Dark kitchen cupboards are very on trend at the moment. We've been sitting with oaks and light woods for such a long time, so it's a new thing. It looks very sophisticated and it contrasts beautifully with white. You can create a lot of drama by you're having piles and piles of light-colored, whitish ceramics. How do you think I can bring in some light elements to contrast that? So I think that it will be a very dramatic look and it will be totally sophisticated. And then you contrast that with a light color on the wall and obviously your snow white Caesar Stank Island. Food looks brilliant against white. So whatever you put on that counter is going to shine. I'm bringing copper because we have, we're bringing copper into the whole apartment. And appliances, I'm thinking we should go for white to contrast the, the dark wood. How else do you think we can bring in some light colors? Oh, I'm so happy that you're doing that because copper is really the trendiest metal at the moment. Gone is the stainless steel and all of those. Copper creates a beautiful glow and for any food looks beautiful on it. 
and it will contrast beautifully with your dark wood and the white counter. I think you've got it wrapped up. Wow, some pretty interesting ideas then. I do know that Joanne is going to have to put everything she's got into this challenge because Rudolf's won two, Minentle has won one now. It's all up to Joanne to blow us away with that kitchen and her final challenge. Now moving on to something very interesting that I love doing every single week. Today we're joined by Anthony Struble, Pam Golding's marketing director. He's here to share a breathtaking home situated in the pristine beach town of Camps Bay. Now, I must say, Camps Bay is such a beautiful space to be. Stunning. Without the view, like, what more do we need to sell us a beautiful property there? Why is it such a sort of space, do you think? Well, because it's, it's a holistic enclave. I mean, it's surrounded by wonderful mountains, 12 apostles, uh, lion's head. Yeah. Probably one, I don't know if it is the best top 10 beaches in the world, but I think it should be. I think it, it has isn't. been I, listed. I think, I think it has been listed, yeah. So, wonderful beach. Um, the strip. The Camp Bay Strip, so mm. you've got wonderful nightlife. And then I think there are nooks and crannies. It's quite a, uh, an unusual suburb mm. because they're all different kinds of nooks and crannies, different kinds of homes, as opposed to being sort of homogenous. It's quite heterogeneous yeah. in terms of a place to live, depending totally. upon what you need. Yeah, everything else in, in the sort of Western Cape area is sort of segregated into little bits. Yeah, it's what it Bay's is. has got this... It's From kind of here to here. Exactly. Yeah. North facing, you know, beautiful views, beautiful yeah. sunsets, some best sunsets in the world. Exactly. And then I think positioning close to town, close to Hout Bay on that beautiful road. Mm. So it's highly unusual, I think, in that regard from a, from a world perspective, not I'm only sure. a South Africa perspective. You know, I'm very interested in investments and I keep saying this every week because it's something that fascinates me. It's changing, it's dynamic, it's always new. And mm. Camps Bay, I've always understood to be quite a highly populated area. Lots of, lots of property, lots of demand for the space. Well, there's no more land. So yeah, well, there's no more land. That's important thing. Which is interesting. So talk me yeah. through why that area is such a good space to invest in. Because aren't people going to move away because it's so populated and busy? Or does this mean that because it's so busy, it's just going to keep growing invest now? Well, I think an interesting stat there, Dan, is that more than, and I stand to correction, but I think it's more than half of the people have lived there for over 11 years. Sheesh. Okay. So, and there are only about a thousand properties. In fact, 700 what we call freehold, mm. and another three, four hundred sectional title, which is sort of apartment yep. living. So, that's a, that's a, a very interesting stat, because it mm. shows that people don't like to leave camp space. So, if people <laughs> don't like to leave, People want to, to yeah. arrive. And when something becomes available, it's not available for very long. Exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, you, you know, you're talking. We nearly did a deal on the house that we're going to be looking at yesterday. I wish we had done the deal because yeah. it, it would have made a slightly different uh, story. But mm. so, and I think another interesting aspect of Camps Bay is that the people that are selling are mm. over 60, more than half of them are over 65. I see. And the people that are buying, more than half of them are 35 to sure. 45. New money. Mm. New money. Interesting. So, and the nice thing is it's got that old traditional feel if you want it but then what we're going to be seeing today a very modern feel okay so you've you've got choice and it's it's an holistic suburb we like choice let's look at that property that you bought us today stunning wow stunning i want it but i can't afford it okay. <laughs> neither can i but we'll yeah, talk yeah, we'll yeah, talk yeah. through it anyway <laughs> okay let's have a look so, at it so yeah let's have a look at it so i mean it's an amazing property i, I actually went there with barbara rogers the agent last night and it's, it's when you Sheesh. walk into it it's what you feel firstly is the space and the flow. Yes. I mean, you know, you just, you can't, you can't get a better property than this. Yeah, the external so views are amazing. Yeah, from every single room, it's spectacular. And, and interestingly enough, we, we were in New York recently, a couple of weeks ago, and we went to 432 Park Avenue, yeah. which is one of the leading um, apartments in, in New York City, the, the, the highly coveted. Yeah. And we were amazed by the finishes. These finishes here leave that building standing, and you're Putting talking in shame. $25 shame. million dollars there for a, yeah. a same size apartment. Mm. So it's an incredible property um, in terms of its finishes. It's brand new. It mm. feels like it's a newly built home. Looks like that, but it hasn't been. So let, let's talk through the interiors and the living spaces. What have you got inside this, this property? You've got wonderful entertainment areas um, on the main floor and it just flows beautifully. The, the bar, and I'm not a drinker, but even I aspired, it's probably one of the best bars in Camps Bay because mm. it overlooks the entire the entire bay, and it's a lit bar, the sure. doors open out on all sides. It's made to entertain It's made this place. to entertain, yeah. made to entertain. So and you've just got this wonderful flow from bar into lounge, into granite kitchens, and it's mm. all incredibly modern. But yes. you know, I'm not a modern kind of furniture guy, but it's modern yet it's got a very warm feel mm. to it. 
Mm. What about the living spaces? So you've mentioned the sort of kitchen entertainment and those spaces, which are your favorite and going yeah. to be my favorite always. Yeah. Uh, but what about the bedrooms and things? I mean, they just they also open up onto these beautiful decks and look over this fantastic bay. So you're on top of the world. You can see 12 apostles from your bedroom on the left, sure. and you can see Lion's Head on your right. Well, th there's the mountain behind you. Yeah. And then, of course, we're talking about a copper bath. So if a copper bath turns you on, then this is a great house oh, for you. Oh, man, if any freestanding bath does. But he has the bedroom looking Sheesh. out onto this deck, looking out over the sea. It's, it's just absolutely spectacular. What an incredible so, property. It's, it's an incredible property. You know, our design contestants are designing also on a beautiful estate on Volde V, and they are trying to work out what it is that private property is looking uh, for them to do with these properties. And they're really struggling to add value to these, the, these houses. And yeah. you've worked in the industry for long enough yeah. to know what adds value to a property. Please give our design contestants some advice because they need this advice from Bathrooms you. Bathrooms and kitchens. Are a big thing. A big thing. And in this house that we just looked at, all four are en suite and they've, they haven't skimped at all. So bathrooms and kitchens and then spend time in your garden. There's no question that there's a movement worldwide mm. back into nature. So if you've got even, even apartment living, you can develop a green environment from yeah. a growing perspective. Yeah. That definitely works. Sure, good advice. People look for gardens. Great, great, great advice. Anthony, mm. Anthony, thank you so much for joining us in the loft today. My I pleasure. always take a lot of stuff from this, and I, one day when I've decided to get myself a new company, a new job, we'll be buying these properties. You and I, sure? Deal. Remember to visit privateproperty.co.za for this and much more property inspiration in the neighborhood that fits your needs. While you're there, vote for your favorite design contestant's master bedroom. You only have until tomorrow, so don't don't waste any more time. We'll be right back. It's not called Win a Home for Nothing. You, the viewer, can win one of the three completed apartments at the Valdeby Estate, valued at over 3 million rand, by voting for your favorite design contestant's master bedroom on privateproperty.co.za. Win a Home is proudly brought to you by Private Property in association with Nedbank.